right so part three of our wing repair video we're going to have a look at this uh, flange across here this rain rail rail or drip rail i suppose you call it <clears throat> so you can see it just needs localized repairs one here so let's just cut that out same there and same there and a bit up in the corner over there now what i'm thinking of doing is bending up a bit of steel and then just cutting it out and using it. So there's a very slight radius on this. So you see if we can bend it up and keep that radius and then cut out the other pieces we need to make the repairs. So we're looking at about a 15 millimeter bend. And worst case, and the worst case is gonna be about Five millimeters up. So what I do is I'll, I'll I'll do something just a little bit wider, and cut and then splice them in and uh, grind them off to suit. So off cut we had from the other day. I've uh, given it another polish it up with the with the grinder. So let's mark this up. I think what I'll simply do is just put a twenty five mil bend on this, and then. Work from there. What's that there? And that's almost 25. You can include that. That's 25. I think this will give us the radius we're looking for as well because I do need to strengthen this up a little bit so it is bending a fairly radius bends. But that's going to be in our advantage for this one. Okay, so. Let's get this bent up the shape and see what we got. Yes, that's a reasonably radius bend in there. It tightens up in the corners, but this has got a bit of flop in it, so that needs attention. But what for what we want, I think that's going to be perfect. So the next thing is pick one to start with. So might as well start with this one. And to clear all that rot, we need a good... Uh, let's go for three inches. Right, let's cut a piece out of that for three inches and see what we get up. Right, that's our first section. Let's go and off it up and see if we can let it in. Right, so what we'll get first is the work out the width and then trim the width out, then we'll work out the height. So if we basically cut that section out there first, that'll give us a width and then that'll uh, give us an idea of how much how high to go with it. Width. <coughs> now we can look up the height. Lovely, and that cuts out all that rot as well. Cleaned off, ready for welding in. So what we'll do is wedge this up so we can get to it, like so, and start tacking it in place. So that's uh, that angle ties up quite nicely with those angles at the uh, corner. As it happens, it is tighter there than it is there, so that looks up nice with this. Let's clamp that in place now and get a couple of tacks on it and weld it into place. Right, 
Right, you'll see that that's all sticking out too far there. I've done that on purpose. It's easier to get a weld up between two ends, if uh, between two bits of metal on the end there, because the heat can then soak into this bit that sticks out rather than just blow the end away. So, first thing I think I'll try and do is get a couple of tacks in across here so that rings nice and flush, and then we can work our way out. Right there now because of the way the metal moves around so I'll get a, a cutting disc into there to or a blade into there to straighten that up this so we'll do this side next. Something as simple as a hacksaw blade, just run it into the cut. And what's happened because it's overlapped now I can't get them to meet up nicely. just need a little bit of clearance on it. And there now, we've got that, that can now line up very nicely as it needs to. So now it's just simply weld that in, cut it off, grind it up, and we're ready to go. Simple as that. And we'll do exactly the same thing for the, the others as well. Yeah, that, that's overlapped slightly there as well, so I'm going to get a Dremel in there now and just take the edge out of like that. Oh, it will never get that nice. Uh, and, and now that's Gone. That's almost dropped into place now. This is getting away from me a little bit, it's thin up in that corner. I think I'll let that cool down, grind that off and then uh, come back to it, I think. back in there now and tidy up these little holes hopefully yeah yeah that's come quite nicely we can live with that so it's just a case of trim this off now. So it's nice and neat along follows that flange across there. There we are, job done. That's basically going to be the same now all the way along the wing. So we'll try the wing in place now to make sure we haven't lost the shape of it. And move on to the next one. Can live with that. That's uh, pulled down quite nicely in the place and it's following the shape of that rail nicely and it's kept this shape across there. Right, same again. These three inches, mark the width, cut the width out. Don't need to go so high with this one. So what I think I'll do is mark this the other way around. Right, 
Yeah, it's quite sound behind there, so it's quite just flipping out sounds. So we'll uh, mark this the other way. And trim that off. Long bit off there doing this back front. No, I mean, you can still work with it. I mean now about the end burning away so I haven't left that long but there's more than one way to skin a cat as they say lovely growing that off on to the next one Right, that's come up quite quite nicely. It's uh, filled in quite nicely along the back there, plenty of penetration, you can feel it poking through there, so that's good. Again, straightforward, nothing too exciting about it. And move on to the next one. Um, as you can probably hear, the rain has just started again. Right, before we make a start on this one, it's a bit out of shape there, so probably good idea to straighten that up first. Otherwise, we're gonna lock that out of straightness into it to weld it up again. Uh, let's get that across there, I guess. Yeah, there we are. We've got uh, to be cutting back here somewhere with that, so that'll look. Watches. Yeah, same again, back up to about here somewhere. Alright, same again. Got the width out. And the height out. Same again, that's pretty good metal across there, so I'll uh, cut the height out with this one. Just remembering not to cut the wrong side off. You see the Sharpie line? It's quite a fat line. And you might think, oh, that's all over the place. But if you cut on this edge of it, just there, that would be close enough for what you want it. Do you notice that when I, as I've cut the grinder, I've left the actual sharpie lines on there? So I've cut this side of it. When I'm grinding, I'm using hardly any pressure. I'm not really pushing into the grinder at all, just letting the weight of the grinder do its thing. That way, it stays reasonably cool. 
Now, I have tried all sorts of different ways of grinding, flat discs and, and all sorts of things. I, I always come back to doing this. I, I go away again, I have another go at the flat disc, but I always come back to just a straightforward grinding stone. It just I just find it works better for me because of the heat. I can control this better. So with this one, we haven't got an edge this here to play with. So there's a risk here we could lose something. So what I think I'll do is pop the ring back on the car and repair this one with it on the car because we don't have this edge to line up with. It could be quite a bit out there and then not realise it. If you look down the ring, there's quite a curve to it. It's not straight. So I'll get the wing back on the car now and then we'll work on this with it on the car. Put the wing back on. We've still got our gap along there, which is still nice and even. So that's good news, the wing hasn't lost any shape we'll, uh, without that repair process. So let's crack on with this last piece now. All right, I'm hoping you're going to get a good enough shot. It's too quite difficult to set up a camera angle for this. <coughs> but now the wing's back on, it's just a case of working out where this piece is to go onto there. Well, uh, trim the edge off of that first. And work from there. Right, so I've got that so it'll drop into there. We can now get the height I need. back off so I can cut that bit off. Right, with the magic of editing that is all miraculously cut out and ready to go. So let's see what we've got there. There we go, perfect. Absolutely spot on. <coughs> right, okay, so judging by the other side we need to Get this to sort of follow that around there a bit more. So I've just got to cut a slice off that. Just like so. Right, the other thing is there should be a spot weld on that corner there. So let's put a dot on that and punch that out. Up there, I reckon. Yes. Alright, so I've punched a hole in that ready for Spotting under there. 
you know, it's just a case of getting a weld in there and, and tacking that in place. Yes, very nice. Right, going off and fully weld that. And there we go. And that's that section all cleaned up and in place. So i the wing back on now and double check we're all happy. Right, there's the wing back in place. You can see it's all lining up nicely now with the drip rail. And that's that corner all done in there. So uh, what I'll do now is get a bit of paint on that just to protect it. Right, bit of paint on it now, bonnet back down. Everything's still lining up. It's uh, yet for final fitting. There's still a little bit of give on that gap yet. We'll be coming to messing on with final fitment, but it's, it's close enough there that we can do something with it. It's not a million miles off. So what we'll be looking at next will be the fillet for the four door to two door wing conversion. And it sticks out like a sore thumb here, so I feel it needs changing anyway. Uh, so that'll be the next video. Then the video after that, we'll be sorting out this door gap. So thanks for watching and uh, keep on going with it. Please uh, keep supporting the channel with subscriptions and thumbs up and comments. It uh, all means a lot and it helps this channel grow, which helps me continue with the content. All right, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.